822 is your time. Here's a question. What would you do with a million dollars? Money Coach Bill Stanley is here to let us know what some fifth graders said they would do and what we can learn from them. Good morning. Good morning. Yes, a while back I was giving a junior achievement presentation to Miss Peters' fifth grade class at Foothills Elementary School in Rock Rim. Great bunch of kids. Afterwards, I got an um, envelope full of thank you notes that I could tell was part of a writing assignment. So I went back to the teacher and said, why don't you ask them to write down what they would do with a million dollars? She thought it was a great idea. Here's a typical letter. Okay. I donate a quarter of the million dollars to homeless people so they can buy meals, get a job, live in an apartment, and buy cleaner clothes. Aww. I would donate another quarter to charities and hospitals. With the remaining 500000 I would create a business and half the money we earn would go to charities. These are fifth graders. These are fifth graders. Then he would go to London, buy a house, buy some furniture and uh, things like that. It was a recurring theme throughout the, uh, from all the students about helping people and helping animals. Was that a surprise to you? It was a, yeah. it was a big surprise. There was not a lot of buying things for themselves, although there was mentions of iPhones. <laughs> and yeah. one young man was going to buy $6,000 worth of Legos. Oh, wow. You can uh, build a village with that. Exactly. Another boy was going to buy six dogs and call them all Sisley. I, <laughs> I, I okay. hope his mom is, is in on that. Um, a young lady liked to read, so she was going to put $500,000 into buying books. Build a library, huh? Um, so giving money to the less fortunate was, was good. So was emergency fund and giving the money to, um, uh, you know, animals animal help places, mm -hmm. things yeah, like that. Um, it, it was It was really good. Um, but what I liked most was their attitude. The kids really had the right attitude. L listen to this. Would I like to have a bunch of really nice expensive stuff? Of course. But for me, donating is, a, is way more important and it makes me feel good too. Ah. I was very happy with the outcome. Uh, the kids looked at money in a different way and we got some writing skills and some math skills in there. I believe though that the kids also should actually handle money. Um, so that they learn how to do it, make mm -hmm. the mistakes while they're, uh, while they're young. Uh, you can do this through allowances, you can do it through piggy banks, monetary um, awards, uh, work in the house, yeah. uh, work outside the house. Now when my kids and my niece were teenagers, I gave them $300 each and $100 was supposed to go to something right now and they had no problem with that. $100 for future education because education is the best investment and $100 to help somebody else. And they had the most problem with the last one, but they, they learned a lot through that. So I think we ought to work with the kids and then listen to the kids because they've got some great ideas. I love that. And thank, thank you. you so much. That, we can learn from them too. Exactly. Because it makes you feel good, right? That's right. And you can uh, contact Bill too. He's got his own uh, website, right? It's moneycoachbill.org. Thanks so much. Okay. Go fifth graders. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> Let's go and check the forecast now. Here's Mark.